Hello students. Today let us discuss the topic average outgoing quality. So what is this average outgoing quality? It is also called as AOQ. So this AOQ is one more method for evaluation of a sampling plan. So this is another method for evaluation of sampling plan. So AOQ or average outgoing quality is simply the product of P dash and P A. So P A is probability of acceptance and P dash is the percent defective or defective. So AOQ is nothing but the product of P dash into P A. So uh, a curve drawn from A O Q and 100 P dash is called as A O Q curve. So a curve is drawn for the evaluation of sampling plan. A curve has to be drawn for the A O Q that is average outgoing quality. And this curve is drawn from AOQ and 100 P dash, which is called as the average outgoing quality curve. So, the shape of the AOQ curve is dependent on what is done with the not accepted lot. So, the shape of this AOQ curve depends on what is done with the unaccepted lot. So if the not accepted lot is subject to 100% inspection and the defective pieces are replaced by good pieces and returned with 100% good lot then such a plan is called as the acceptance rectification plan. So, if you find that the there are many number of defectives in the lot and you subject the lot to 100% inspection and all the defective pieces in that lot are replaced by good pieces and returned with 100% good lot, then such plan is called acceptance rectification plan. So here we can see the shape of the curve in this figure. So here you can see there is A and B which is marked here. So when the rejected lots are not considered for screening or rectification, the AOQ curve will be a straight line as shown in this figure B. So here when it is not subjected to rectification or screening that is all the bad pieces are replaced with the good pieces and then 100% good lot will be returned. So that is not considered in this B type curve. So when, when the rejected lots are not considered for screening or rectification then this AOQ curve will be a straight line as shown in this figure that is this B. Then the maximum value of the average outgoing quality is called as the average outgoing quality limit. So here from the figure this is AOQL that is the maximum value of AOQ. So when
So the maximum value of AOQ. So the average outgoing quality is always better than the incoming quality because rejected lots are rectified by screening. The AOQ is always better than the incoming quality because rejected lots are rectified by screening. So here if the lot are considered for screening or rectification and the average outgoing quality limit is understood by that curve then the shape of the curve is something like that. So the for the lots which are considered for screening or rectification and to find the average outgoing quality limit we can draw an average outgoing quality curve. So which is drawn against probability of acceptance that is PA into 100% defective and the assumed process quality. So this is all about the average outgoing quality. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.